Hola, estudiantes. Feliz jueves. Hello, students. Happy Thursday. Today is the last day of the second week because there's no school tomorrow since it's Good Friday. So this is going to be the last video of this week and there won't be one until Monday. Today is Thursday. It's Duolingo Review Day. I gave you guys all a challenge last week starting on Thursday to Wednesday, which was yesterday for a certain amount of points depending on grade level. And you guys did a fantastic job. I reviewed you the points that you guys had from each class. Some of you um, received more points than I expected you to. For third grade, your point level was 20. For fourth grade, yours was 50. And for fifth grade, yours was 75 points. It makes me really excited because I know that you are learning while you're receiving your points and you're learning a new language, which is Spanish that we have been working on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to read out all the students who finished the challenge. I have Leanne, Madison, Emily, Jesse, Logan, Mia, Cole, Ramiro, Gio, Sergio, Lucas, Jaden, and Emma. Remember, this is just upperclassmen, so third, fourth, and fifth grade. I have from students who received under 100 points but still finished the challenge, which is also, it's, it's great. It doesn't matter how many points you have, you finish the challenge, and that's great. So I have Leanne, I have Madison, I have Emily, Jesse, and Logan. Awesome, that makes me happy. For students who got over 100 points, 100 to 200 points, I have Mia and Cole. They did a fantastic job. They got 160 and 196, which is way more than the 75 points they were supposed to get, or 50. For over 200, I have, or actually over 300, I have Ramiro Acosta with 370 points. For over, oh, I also have Lucas with 390, 90, 391. Over 400, I have Gio and Sergio, the twins, both with 451 points. Or one with 451 and the other one 437. Great job. And I have for over 500 points, I have Jaden and Emma, Jaden Pickard and Emma Koibu. You guys did 500. Jaden almost was really close to 600, which is great. So that makes me want to up the numbers for the challenge for this week. But for right now, I'm going to give you guys a round of applause because that was, that's, that's awesome. I know I have a couple of students who are Spanish speakers and when you are doing Duolingo, it starts you on the introduction level, which is really is easy for you if you already speak Spanish. If you are interested in having harder lessons, then you can let me know. I could always move you to another group where you can do more of intermediate or expert kind of Spanish. Um, it's still going to teach you things, but it's not going to teach you things in the introduction level. I know that not everyone is a Spanish speaker, so if you're fine with the introduction levels, okay. I'm a Spanish speaker, and I think it's really good to have your Spanish refreshed because when we are not speaking our language in like all the time, we kind of forget and lose some of the words and forget how to say things and just pronunciation. It happens to me a lot since I know both languages. I totally get it if you want to just do introduction um, section, that's okay. But please, if you think it's too easy, but you still want to be um, involved in the challenge, you can definitely do so. And I will just put you in a different level. So you're learning at a more um, intense <laughs> level. Um, if you would like. This new week, I am going to add a new point system. I know a lot of you have done an amazing job. Like I said, I am tremendously proud of those who completed the challenge that you guys have a lot of free time in comparison to when everything was you know normal. So I know that with your free the fact that you're using your free time to learn Spanish um, really makes me happy. What we're going to do for this week, I am going to up the points for 
this week. Yay! It's going to be 75 for third grade, 100 for fourth grade, and 150 for fifth grade. If you want to go over and beyond those points, then you are free to do so. Um, then, but you are not obligated. If you want me to give you a shout out and um, just like I did for the students from this week who met the point challenge for their grade level, then you are welcome to um, join us and do that. For today, I'm not going to be going over certain words for certain lessons, but please remember that if you have any questions on the lessons and you want me to go over one of them because you find that it's difficult or you just want to learn how to you just want to hear um, someone explain it um, better then definitely email me message me um, it might be something that might also be a question for another student so you never know so definitely send it to me i could make a video about it for one of like for one of the videos like today for thursday so that is all for today it's todo para hoy I will see you guys on Monday, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic weekend and a fantastic Easter. Feliz Día de Pascua. Adios.